I'm Jenny Carlson here with Jason Kersey. We're at Cowboys Stadium where Texas A&M has defeated Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl 41-13. Jason, we thought this would be an offensive shootout. A&M held up their end of the bargain. OU, not so much. Talk about what impressed you most in this game. Has to start with number two for A&M, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. It has to start with Johnny Menzel. You know, from the very first drive, um, he, he breaks away from some pressure, and he was just gone, tiptoes his way into the end zone, is able to stay, uh, stay in bounds, which is just really impressive play. Uh, and then from there, um, Oklahoma just could not control him. And we know that they had all these troubles with, uh, with running quarterbacks all year, uh, but they'd seen nothing like this. And, and this time, Landry Jones couldn't keep up. 229 yushing, rushing yards for Manziel, 287 passing yards. That's over 500 yards of offense for the guy. So fantastic performance by him. But offensively, the Sooners in the first half really, I mean, they, the, they allowed uh, some field goals instead of some touchdowns. They settled for those. But offensively seemed to be doing pretty well. Second half, though, different story. What changed offensively? Well, in the first half, it was obvious that Oklahoma's plan was to control the clock and stay on the field as long as they could to keep Johnny Manziel off it. And it worked for the first half. Uh, you know, they were able to go into halftime down 14 to 13, uh, but they did. They had to settle for field goals. Um, you know, they, they get a really lucky break with a turnover. Uh, Johnny Manziel interception. Landry Jones goes and throws it right back to him. Uh, so little things like that really cost them, where they could have maybe even had a, a a 10-point halftime lead or something, uh, but, but because of those mistakes and because of those, uh, those missed opportunities, uh, they kept Johnny Manziel right there. And then in the second half, when they couldn't get going at all, it was over. Well, and as Bob Stoops said, it was both offensive and defensive. A, a disappointing performance defensively, even though they knew Manziel was going to have his yards and his points against them. Defensively, I mean, it just seemed like everything was affected by trying to defend this guy. Oh, yeah. He, he's just such a tough player to defend, and they knew that coming in. They had a month to get ready for him, and he still you know, had one of his greatest games of, this, of a great season, of a Heisman Trophy winning season. And you can certainly see now why he was the Heisman Trophy winner. All right. This was the season ender for the Sooners, as we all know. Jason, what sort of stands out for you as you think about this being the last game of this 2012 season for the Sooners? What sort of the lasting impressions, the lasting thoughts as this season now closes out? Well, there are so many seniors, uh, quarterback Landry Jones, David King, a bunch of really big leaders, guys who have been really good, consistent players for this team uh, over their careers uh, are, are, ending, you know, are ending their careers. But they do have a lot of guys coming back. Uh, we'll have to see what happens now. I think the question is, will Kenny Stills come back? Will Tony Jefferson come back? We did find out tonight that Trey Millard is coming back. Uh, so that's going to be a big boost for the Sooners, especially with a new quarterback. All right, we'll have all that coverage as the offseason kicks into high gear now. So be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.